I'm pretty excited for this. Yeah, I think this, I don't know if you're ready for this, truly. Really. I'm never ready. All right, we got our first uh, little bourbon tasting here. Uh, we got two two noobs to pretty much anything liquor, but whiskey yeah. in particular. Wait, who's the other? Me? Yeah, Am I the other one? Okay. I'm I'm mm. just I'm not like sure I agree with that. A step above noob. I know a little bit more, but not too much. So we're just gonna be uh, trying out four mystery bourbons here. Um, blind, blind taste blind test. tasting. Uh, so I don't know what this is, <laughs> or this. These are not <laughs> or this or so, this. Mind the glassware. It's the best we can right. do. Right. Yeah. Sure only, I only have two Glen Cairns right now, so uh, we're we're just using some wine glasses. Is what I've got. So we we're starting off here. We have got some. Cody, they can't see. <laughs> <laughs> We got some uh, Old Forester uh, 100 signature. Start off with that. This is mostly all going to be more of your uh, bottom shelf kind of uh, stuff here, with one exception. We have got some Wild Turkey 101. Mm -hmm. And we have got some Buffalo Trays. And finally, hopefully, uh, you know, I know we don't know a whole lot. But hopefully we know enough to be able to figure out the old Forester 1920, as that's a pretty, pretty highly regarded uh, bourbon. These are all, these were all around. I have no idea. These are all around uh, under twenty-five dollars, aside from the uh, 1920, which was uh, about sixty dollars. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully we can at least do ourselves a service of uh, figuring out. Which one is the nineteen twenty? We're gonna we're gonna this, we're gonna do poorly. <laughs> I'm calling it yeah. that we do poorly on this test. That'd be like all the same to me. First baby steps here, trying to figure out, you know, trying to trying to nose it, see what we smell, see see how we're different, and uh, you know, try to we'll rank them and see which ones we like best. And uh, I don't think there's any need. I I haven't had any of them aside from the nineteen twenty, so there's no need to Rick, guess you, which is which. But uh, have you ever even had bourbon? Uh, I had bought some yeah. Elijah Craig a year or two ago. Okay. okay. Um, but other than that, that's I've had a few. So, yeah, I mean, I've had a decent number, but I'm trying to get back into it. It's been a while, and it hasn't been mostly college day kind of thing. So, uh... All right, how do we start? Just left to right? Yeah, we'll start off with glass A. a see, you know, first get your nose. So are these all the same, like, as my age, the same as your age? Or? I hope so. Okay. <laughs> all right. Should be. All right. Um, Someone else poured these, so... So, you know, just get in there first, kind of swirl it around, smell, see what kind of, what smells you get, <laughs> if anything. That's so huge. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm not going to drink all this. I'm just going to see. Yeah, we're going to need some funnels. Um, I'm getting a little bit of, like, fruit off the smell. A little bit of spice, I guess. Um. <laughs> Like lighter fruits, not too sure. Not a little bit spicy. Real great. Pretty that, spicy. That was, that, was, mm, that was really tasty. I like that a lot. Um, but it's hard to it's hard to get a nose off these glasses. They're so big. Mm -hmm. Um, man, my mouth is like still. Yeah, this is high proof. Got a pretty good finish. Affected by that. Kind of. Uh, I don't like <coughs> the other ones really, but. Looks a little bit lighter. What are, what are our proofs we're dealing with? They should all be above 100. Okay. 100. Uh, I'm me into well, the water. Actually, no, 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 no. Uh, Buffalo Trey should be like 90, maybe? I just remember Cody saying like that, that would really, really be spicy and mm. I mean, to, I mean we'll we'll know more as we try the other ones too. Like this was the spiciest one, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. We might think it's the spiciest and then try this one or whatever. Yeah, I'm getting melt my face off. Or something. <laughs> I'm getting um like I think. Kind of cinnamon apple, maybe. 
with the like woodiness at the end, maybe. But I'm no, I'll go with you on cinnamon. I'm gonna move on to glass B. You guys ready? Yep. Then we should get a palate yes. cleanser. If you want, I'm gonna grab. That's I'm gonna grab us some water. Do you have a pop or something over there? Oh, so there's okay. Yeah, yeah that's because that's my monster. It's a pretty decent finish on that. I, you don't want to. You don't want to water. Um. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but my mind instantly goes to trying to figure out which one's which, which I'm gonna not try to do, but. I don't know. I'm not getting a whole lot of like complexity off of it. Yeah, to me it was just like just kind of apple y light fruits, cinnamon. Have you tasted it? No, I mean it's really smelled it. This one's really it's like rubbing out a lot of wood. smoky. Yeah. Wood. Charred and smoky. Swirl it around Thoughts? And see if I can get any. Yeah, I can swirl it and might get a little more smell. Rick is struggling. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Okay? This is torture. That was more of a, of a way to be introduced to this type of thing. Right That's here. okay, though. I'd say it's definitely more flavorful Carmel, than A, in my opinion. Yeah, I get the caramel. It's not... Like lingering on my tongue and mouth as much as this is a lot smoother to me, but it's also it's a little leathery, yeah, a little tanniny, yeah. I think I prefer I this. I think I prefer I, this one as well. Yeah, I enjoy that mm. quite a um, bit. I mean, after the initial you know, shock um, of not being used to this, type I'm of gonna thing. guess that that one. Again, I'm doing it I'm, again. I'm thinking 1920 on this one. I'm doing it again here yeah. with this, like, trying to figure out what's what, and that's, like, not the point of these, and I shouldn't be doing it, but mm. it's... Oh, sweet. From, you know, because I've watched a lot of videos on it, so then, like... So we should fun. just be saying what we like the most, period, and well, ignore what and we just, think it is. Yeah, and just... Well, okay. not, I mean, just saying what I'm not going to have any idea of what, right, what you think you're saying. There you go. So. You can be as honest as but, you can. But I guess my, my point is that, like, I've seen a lot of videos on it and whatever, and that's not the point sure to like figure out which is which but from that i think i'll be picking up another flavor because i heard what other people say and it makes me think that this might be the wild turkey 101 because i think i might be tasting like a little bit of like peanut i know jim beam all the jim beam liquors have like really high like peanut kind of taste to them and i think maybe i might be tasting that along with like the wood and the leather and you know what i should not have done is finish that i should have saved it that was stupid I might, I might so borrow some of yours, right? <laughs> which, by the way, yeah, you got, you've got a, a, a fan, <laughs> so if you want to kind of like rate like which mm -hmm. one is which in order, yeah, that's kind of the point of this too. I don't, yeah, right. Okay. So go to C or C. Get okay, your palate cleansers if you haven't. Hmm. Seems kind of subdued. Oh, uh, it's like sweeter smelling to me. Yeah. It's not as strong as the first two. Not sure what I'm smelling off of it. A little bit of baking spices and maybe light fruits again. This one, I feel like it's kind of mm. similar to the first one. I like the aroma a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go back to the first one. I, that one smells a lot more, like, a lot less fruity, a lot more, like, caramely now compared to this one. What, you said the first one? Yeah. This one smells like cherry to me a little bit. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, smell you're not wrong. Okay, oh, yeah, wow. That does smell like caramel now. Hmm. Dang. That's gotta be the, that's gotta be the Buffalo Trace. Proof on it. It's, yeah, that's. It's. Oh, I, that's really nice, though. It was pl yeah, it was really pleasant. Uh, I'd say. It, this is this is probably you, like, for your more main, your most mainstream. If this is, I mean, obviously if it's Buffalo Trace, but also if it's a uh, sweet and lower proof, like it seems to be. 
Oh, the other one. The other one would say, still trying to figure out what I taste and see though. Like this could maybe be apple, but like on the sweeter end and then, um. The second one that we had, uh, the, it was much more oily, had a much better mouthfeel than the other two. It coats it much better. Yeah. Um, oh, it's very bad. Yeah, I would say this tastes the most like apple now. Now the A is back to, mm -hmm. that is incredible, the transformation that has. That's what these, they always say, like, you know, taste them back to back. Yeah, back which is why I should not have finished this. Stupid. Like I said, I'll have plenty to do that over for you guys. Okay. Appreciate it, pal. Let's move on to D, then. What do I mean by? Yeah. Oh. This is exhausting in my tongue. That's what I think about, like, treading in it. See the much uh, maligned taster here for bourbons. It's like a, it's like a San Francisco. Oh, in the back of the crazy nose. Yeah, or they say they fail though. I've been watching YouTube videos of people that are fine. Don't, Don't give away our more. secrets, Cody. I can't do it. <laughs> but uh, that guy is like a spirit chaser. He does like 300 a day. Jesus. Man. Good, Good job, luck. dude. Good luck to your liver, sir. At least they fit, but yeah. So. This is definitely higher proof. I don't know what this one is. It's like, I, I, it's more like kind of a cherry like bacon smell, slices like kind of sweet potato I smell a little bit of tobacco like like a sweet potato casserole or something <laughs> what <laughs> it's like a sweet like sweet potato really sugary molassesy kind of was that what that's made with or something no because it sure doesn't smell like that to me yeah, I'm, I'm going with, like, cigar. Maybe a little bit and, of cherry or something. Um, it is, there is a sweet note to it that I can't pin down, but I, I don't think of that. All right, <laughs> bottom is up. All right. Well, bottom's out slightly at an angle. Mm. Well, it's complex. Yeah. It's sweet, and then it gets smoky, mm -hmm. and then the alcohol plume. <clears throat> coats really well. It seems really complex. Yeah, like that's like more. Like there's more going on. Like I'm not sure like what. These ones like I just I just can't taste well, you know. So I'm like, what is it that I taste? But it seems like one or two things. This one's like, and it's sweet. It's got like a lot. I feel like it's got a lot of different categories. Yeah, I can definitely. I can smell <laughs> what I think is like the apple in this one. A lot more now after having D. B is so dry compared to D. B's got really another again really nice uh, mouthfeel. <clears throat> yeah, it's got a lot going on. There's like leather, there's for D, like leather, there's caramels. There's like some cherry, maybe some like some of those spices are good. <sighs> My mouth is like Hmm. A little on fire. Yeah, back to A is just I'm like, just fine. I guess, uh... Back to A is just like pure caramel. Liquor, huh? Pure caramel and vanilla on A. Yeah, and it's a little buttery, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I still want to say... Man, I still want to say A is, like, spicier than D. I'm not sure. I think it was just had so much going on. <laughs> Which do you think between A and C is lesser, is lower proof? See, right? Like, A and C? We thought C. Oh, yeah, now C smells so much different. Right? But yeah, I can smell that after. A is higher proof. Yeah, well, I mean, sure. it's, got, it's more sharp. Like, it's, it's less rounded off. But I mean, chances are, too, these are the same. So. But it, it seems like. Really hard. Well, I think I know which one I'm, I'm ranking first, but, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I gotta get these other ones. <coughs> yeah. This actually would be a tough one for me. 
Oh, yeah. For th- three of them. One of them as clear contender for my least favorite so far, but the other three are kind of like, I'm trying to think of what order I'm going to put them in. Oh, gosh. I feel like this would be a lot easier if we were using those better glasses. It's like, I yeah, guess, it would probably be a lot easier if we could get our nose up it, to the liquid. But it's just, it's so and wide. And there was a nice bulb. Yeah, it's so wide. And it's just... it's wide lips, so like it doesn't retain the aroma. What do people usually eat bourbon? I should have some chips or something. Barbecue, usually. Yeah. Mm. Hold on. Okay. That one. Okay, these like. A lot of caramel. A lot of spices. Beef? Wood, yeah, like leather. Um, I think again that peanut, maybe. What I think. Maybe go through all of them again. <clears throat> now I'm not getting peanut, like, but it's dry, and I could see maybe some kind of nut. Frickin' A again smells like apples. After going, A again. I'm going to move to A. A smells like apple soup? Yeah. Hmm. It smells like caramel. It did, it like, keeps shifting. Like, I had I taste, I taste that bar. But com- now I only smell the caramel, buttery caramel. It's hard to... C and D to me seem the most similar of the four. Like, Could they're be. the... Like, C seems like a slightly less, lesser version of D. That's like, probably a pretty good note that you got there, I possibly could say. I'm, I'm gonna oh, say... What's almost the hardest, I mean, yeah, it's hard to, like, pick out the flavors now, as, like, a beginner, but the other thing that's really hard is just to, like, keep them separated in your head. I don't know how, you know, like, somebody's tasting, like, 20 of these, and they're like, okay, let's go back to this one, I remember it. Like, I can't even remember it, like, ten seconds after I just tasted it. I'm like, well, what did that taste like? Oh. I'm a little bit of a here. <coughs> B tastes better. I mean, you have to really just sip at it. It definitely is Do more... Do not get too much of B in your mouth. It's definitely more oily yeah. and viscous, I would say. <sighs> but, when you taste it, it's a little more simplistic, I think. Ah. A couple notes. Ooh. C's got a good nose on it. Those tortilla chips those are sounding good right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm beyond doing any more of these. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm going to be cutting this down. Yeah. Way the hell down. Oh, don't worry, I know. Just, so. don't, you don't need to watch us uh, smacking our lips for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Give me a second here, boys. Don't worry, a lot of those videos are more like 20-some minutes when they're tasting them, because you gotta go back and forth, back and forth. And... Uh, yeah, I know, but... Now you're drinking. Don't you do this I said them. I was gonna keep <laughs> this down. Not in front of YouTube! Mm. They're watching. They, we'll won't, do they won't be when I get done editing it. We'll do this off camera. <laughs> I think I know what they are, but. Uh. <laughs> Fritz <Don't> cheating. <laughs> uh. <sighs> do it one more time. Make sure I'm okay with the numbers I wrote. I just want to lost Peter now. Yeah. C is you are right. That's cherry, man. I think I've got mine now, which is different from. I'm glad I did the. I went tasted them again because it's different from my initial thoughts and impressions on them. Now, after my tongue <laughs> became used to the mm-hmm. bourbon. Hmm. This is hard. This is hoard. Basically a tie for me, but I guess. Ah, oh man. My lips are like numb. Mm-hmm. Starting to get numb. <laughs> my tongue is. Alright, I'm. I got mine rated. Alright. 
Uh-huh. Let's compare. So, what did you have for your number one, Ricky? Uh, B. Adrian? The number one for me was D. Number one for me was also D. Uh, number two? Rip? D. Adrian? B. Let's see. Those were my two that I couldn't... Number three? Rip? A. A. I had a B. And last least, one? Least favorite for me was C. Uh, C as well. Mine was A. Hmm. See, now I thought... I thought A was very pleasant, but I thought it was kind of like one note. Yeah. It was like easy to drink. Like I said, I thought kind of like caramel apple or cinnamon, but I mean, okay. a whole lot going on. I thought there's like there's more going on. Let's see. Um, I'm going to guess here as to which one. Womp, womp, womp. Rick and I were fairly close. Ours were close as far as one and well, two. Well, I could yeah. see at least. You and me completely disagreed on C and A, which is, well, I had A low as well, I guess, but I had C. C is my least. <laughs> to me, Adrian, yeah, it seems like uh, if, you, if, you, if you take all of our answers into account, we all kind of thought A was either last or second to last. Yeah. And D was first or close to first. Yeah. Uh, what That's you have kind of three for B, you have one for B, I have two for B. So B is a range. Four, four, and two. So disagreement on C, B mm-hmm. was a range. Yeah. But we were consistent that D was towards the top, A was towards the bottom. So I think D was definitely the 1920. Oh, let's. Uh, should we look? Well, let me see what I think is first. Uh, we're gonna, now we're going to guess what they okay, are. I said I wasn't going to do this. Well, you guys don't have Cody. to because you know, I, have yeah, no I, have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I got to say, I think D is uh, 1920 because like, it was burnt your ass off. Also, it, there's a lot. There's going a lot. On. Yeah. And you can tell. It's, I wish we had better glasses. It smells so delicious. Like I could just smell it like the whole day. I'm think I'm thinking C is Buffalo Trace. I'm thinking it was the 100 because it tasted very cherry, and you even mentioned that you thought it was like D, and they're both. Oh, like that's your point. That's a good point. And I think D with the peanuts and the well for me, you know, leather and kind of there wasn't really a whole lot of fruitiness going on. It's kind of like caramel wood. Yeah. I think that was the wild turkey, and then I think A was the Buffalo Trace because it's like kind of apple cinnamon kind of. Simple, but I'm not sure about A or C. Absolutely, but go ahead. All right. Let's see, let's see if you're a right or just complete it's a big dumb. It's just a big dumb. All right. A was Old Forester 100. Mm. I liked it. I just didn't think it was as complex. B was Wild Turkey 101. Mm. All right. I liked it. C was Buffalo Trace. Hmm. And then D, Old Forester, 1920. You know what? No. I gotta I gotta try A and, and C more because this is why you don't do this dumb sh where you try to figure out what is what. And you're like, I yeah. heard people say this. Well it's especially dumb when you've never had it before. Right. Well, <laughs> no. I mean <laughs> We're not above dumb. Well, we said dumb on this channel because I think that you know that kind of you know that that changed my opinion while I was tasting it because I wanted to like Old Forester right because right. I've done my research and whatever I'm that kind of person where they make up their minds beforehand and I kind of enjoyed it a lot I just I I figured it was like the Buffalo Trace and it did seem a little less complex but I got to go back between those two especially I you know I I felt pretty confident about these two like. I just knew I only tasted this one once because I was like, "That's just really good," I think. And then yeah, we were pretty and, consistent and, on and that one. B, I really thought was really good. It just depends on if you like that flavor. I'm thinking that you overrated C because you you had thought you had guessed which one it was. Because right, Rick and I were both I like, like, "Oh, that's the worst one." That's kind of what I was. Yeah, thinking. I like wild turkey too. That's kind of what I was thinking when I was tasting it. I'm like, "Don't do this, Cody. If you like, if you like it, it was very pick pleasant. which one." And I'm like, you know, and I thought like, "Oh, but that one's probably the." Old Forester, and so I gotta pick that one first because those were right. the last two that I was kind of choosing. Well, you know, I was choosing between these two, but I only because I thought that this was the Old Forester. But I think I might have enjoyed it at least. And I thought it, and see, and that's where I said like cherry, because I know it's supposed to taste like cherry, but. And like, 
Uh, None of these were I, like be, bad to me, but like no, they're all right. very good. C to C to like, me was pretty subdued. And C like like, like uh, what if, what I said. Watered down. I gave C the lowest because it's like if I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna I'd rather just have this. If I'm gonna have that type of flavor, I'd rather go with yeah. B. I like B. B is like the I would say the most different from the group. Yeah. Which gives yes. it something nice. Um, yeah. it, it, it's like it, it's drier. Yeah. It's more. It's kind of like, I don't know more manly flavor it's like it's like dry and rough like you it's abrasive it's my number one uh, <laughs> of so it's a bit abrasive it's it takes it's me. probably the the least mainstream of the four but um still good it's well made okay, i'm gonna have to have you bring your buffalo chase back next time okay Here, I'm cleaning this we'll have to get four more and then do an eight eight bourbon round. I, i'll just be dead by the end of it i guess all right, yeah, yeah. that old torture is good. I thought that I I watched the sip of the rotation G and Rick was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like it, it grabs you, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's just like it just fires your tongue. Because I like so a million things are going through my mind. Like I'm trying to figure out what the flavors are, and and then the, it just hits me, and that's what that's what like. You know, these bourbon snobs go for the Akeem truck. <laughs> they sell it. Yeah. It's a higher proof. That's like their thing. The higher, and that's what makes it cost more, mostly. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. How it's do we, uh, so, so good. How do we wrap this up? Open up to me. Spread them lights. Tell me what you're about. I guess like, have you even opened any of your like, beers or anything? Nice. <laughs> Got ten of them over there. I knew each one was like, can't go wrong. So it's just kind of a personal preference thing. Aside from the 1920, which I think you did surprisingly well for people who don't know what they're looking That's for. That's true. Or, we, we, we pretty pretty well sussed that could, one out of the group. You could figure it out, you know. It was, these three were pretty close for me, honestly. So we ignored you. I need... Hayden, are you trying to make us Ooh. alcohol poisoning over here? Oh, with, this was my idea. With this big I pushed this for sure on everyone. Eat <laughs> some chips, baby. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm spoiling. You're, you're not gonna eat those chips uh, plain, are you? I'm eating them plain. Oh my god. Contaminating the whole experiment Cody's. for a plain chip. <laughs> you know how much trouble Cody gave me back in the day? Hey, Adrian. I got some you guys need to eat one of these. You'll feel so much better. Hey, Adrian. Trust me. Hey, Adrian. Hey, Cody. I've got some tortillas over there if you want to just roll those up and eat them. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling good. He was really doesn't take much. Doesn't We're take about much to have a fun night with Ricky. It's about to turn doesn't into Reed Reynolds. Much. 